It is getting to that time of year where we get to see the brand new releases for 2023. Today I have the brand new TaylorMade MB and MC Irons. We also have a special guest. Andy, how are you? I'm good. And I've got B7 the TaylorMade P770. He's all shiny and new. They look stunning. So guys, we are out here in California. We are here to test a brand new TaylorMade product. I'm going to have a bit of a match today, Andy. Absolutely. Mate. So I'm going to use MB and MC. There's a yeah. reason for that. And you're going to use the 770, which so I think one. I think they're going to be a strong contender for Iron of the Year next year. Well, we will see. We will see. Do see you how want... my performance goes on, first of all. Well, how many shots do you want as well? well what that's, a, that's a grid, that. That's not going to tell you. Nine. What we do is six hole match. Yeah. Six hole match, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see your stroke index, isn't it? Yeah, perfect. I'll let you have the honor. And I'm using his driver, so uh, I struggled last time with it, but I've got an excuse already. Now, guys, before we get started, I'd just like to say how good do these brand new P7 MB and MC irons look from TaylorMade? This may be the first time you've seen them. A few subtle changes in there. We're going to talk through them a little bit in this video. But first, Mr. Sullivan. Great shot. That's a lovely drive. Sit down. Oh, no, that's fine. That bunker's yeah. miles away. Far too Great far away shot. for me. Great shot. I think I'm going to hit Swap. driver as well, Andy, to be fair. How do you feel about those four irons looking at them? These irons are yours. I mean, I think this is a, there's a massive change between a P770 and these things, yeah. isn't it? And one of them is visually at address. You're going to have these things will frighten you to death. Much shorter blade length now. I'll put it on screen for the MB. Right. Oh, James. Stay there. There you go. I can't see that. That may be blocked out. There we mate, in the middle of it. Are you um, okay? Well, I've got the, yeah, I've got the blade, so I thought I'd try and give myself something to try and uh, cut around these trees with. You know the bad news as well? Struck index three. Why is it bad? Because you get shot. Oh yeah, it's good for me. You know the worst news? That's out there. <laughs> is that you? Mr. The measuring tool out. <laughs> so Andy, people are probably desperate to hear about what these look like. Not a huge change, but I think that's what they needed to do. No, it's just a subtle, I mean, I think from memory, just a little bit of more uh, chrome shiny bits in mm -hmm. it. Uh, I mean, these things look stunning, don't they? Yeah, they do. In my yeah. opinion. The big thing is don't ruin them, isn't it? They're, well, I don't want to ruin them now. <laughs> well, I mean, the review. Yeah. Now, these are, I mean, massive. Uh, P790 is huge for them, isn't it? Yeah. And this is just a better player's version mm -hmm. of it, really. Right, uphill. What a strike that is. Again, what's interesting in terms of the club itself, I mean, I've tugged it a bit down the left-hand side, yeah. but it's a five iron launch, it's like yeah. that's quite high. And I think I got that very much sort of out the bottom grooves as well. I think so, the story here is lower CG, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, in that shot there was kind of, uh, I think, bore witness to it, didn't wonderful, it really? Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Well, seriously, mate, that's a, this is a shot. I'm not gonna lie, the drive wasn't good. I don't think I'd be left with this. What are we oh. going to try and do though? Hang on. Well, I've got 180 and I'm thinking, remember Tiger's shot where we like oh, out Jesus. the bunker? Yeah. Because I've got the four iron, so I've got plenty of club, but I need to start it left enough and then cut it round and get the strike out of here with a blade. I like your ambition, mate. With a shorter blade length. Oh, it was a good effort. Yeah, I got the strike, it yeah. just didn't cut, did it? No, it tried a little bit. I'll take that. That's okay. Right, you. guys, I'm just short here to the left. Andy, green in reg. Say again? Green in reg. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Take that. Well, again, not the easiest shot I've left myself. Four required. Nice. Oh. Super shot. Well played. Yeah, so I mean, are these are running at 11 and a bit. He Downhill, said, between 11 well, and 12, yeah. and from there, it's like a roller coaster ride, I think. Yeah, I'll let you get back there, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> you got a shot, remember? Go. Yeah, this is one of those where you think that's stopping halfway, but actually, Andy, not quite inside that eight feet, but it's a great effort. I think if the line, if it was a yeah. wider, the pace, pace of the top great. of the hill was good. So this for the win? Yeah, well I need to hope you miss this and then I need to drag it in or out. I take it out mate, if you're having it out, lob it out. Ooh, Ooh. chance. That was a bit of a mystery, you think. Oh, 
Ooh, bogey. Take that. So guys, two fives on the opening hole. Andy has a shot, so that is Andy one up. What a hole we've got here. This is nice, this is This it? is a gorgeous yeah. golf hole. So Andy, looking at all these new offerings for the P series of irons, yeah. I'm aware that, I mean, these are probably the clubs that you'd use that are, I mean, would you use these or 90s? I'd be, I'd be more lean towards yeah. that. So we've got 149 yards signature hole. I'm going to go eight iron in the new P7MC. I love the look of this and I love that they brought the lofts in line as well. So you could potentially go split set in these, which is something that a lot of yeah, golfers might think about. Going back to them P770s or P790s, I mean, I find, I think they're as forgiving as P790s. Yeah. I, I think, think if you're that. happy with the smaller profile, yeah. you, I think you can play them as easy as you can 790. I mean, if you win this hole, then I might go to those for uh, the rest of the video, but... <laughs> Right, so we're playing it, it's 155, isn't it? 155, mate, yeah. It's into the wind as well. I've actually clubbed up and gone seven. Yeah. Just I'm been in... a bit more realistic. I'm in the six, so. Nice. Nah, Stay terrible. there. Terrible. There's in the water, there's water right as well. I think that's water, it's a terrible it? strike. Yeah. Not, not no good, right. No, it's really poor. Right guys, I'm going to try and capitalise on this. Also, if you want to see a full review on the brand new P series of irons, the P7MB, the P7MC and the P770, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to try and play a little draw in here. It's supposed to be workable. Be the club, stay there. Safe. Yeah, good shot. Well played. Right, not Andy's best shot there. I think he was actually almost flag high with that, even though a bit of a high weak shot into the wind. And I'm really happy with that one that I've played up to the back of that. Flag high, stopped on a dime. That's what you do think about getting with the P7 MBs and MCs. What um expert drop. Yeah. There's no messing around there, mate. <laughs> That's a terrible little mob in the green as well. Have you seen it? It is, isn't it? Tell if you could land it just on there, Andy. A bit of spin on it, release down and in. Yeah, yeah. Three. He's played for it. Nice shot. Very good. Two for it. Two for it. Stopped on a dime, that mate, as well. Yeah, two for back to level. Yeah. That was a good strike, yours, to be fair. I enjoyed it. One thing which I think people who are thinking about P7, MC and MB are looking at, aren't they, how it reacts when it lands on a green. Base. <laughs> Have a look. Pick it up. Cheers, mate. I was thinking, you know, that was for the first ever birdie with the brand new 2023 P7 series of irons ever. But unfortunately, it wasn't. Well done. Nice hole, that. Shame. Uh, very nice, isn't it? Yeah. So, guys, interesting how the feedback to make these clubs has come mainly from Tor. Uh, and you'll see that in the kind of shorter blade length as well. That looks really, really, really short. So much so that Chris is uh, going to hit a little three iron mate off this tee, aren't you, for us? Try. Natural ball striker. Yeah, it's me, but yeah, it doesn't look the most. Um... That looks very, very, very short. And then there's no offset, a really thin top line. I believe uh, DJ Tiger and Colin Maracara had something to say about that. Similar standard to myself, really. Now, one of the points where I wanted to do this video, guys, a first look at the brand new P-Series of irons, is how they have brought the P7MC in line with the P7ME, which Chris is quite expertly holding up there. Chris, what are your thoughts on these two as well? So I like to get Andy's opinion, but I also like to get people's opinion like yourself, who are natural ball strikers. Would you see yourself putting any of these in the bag? With different... The blade length's ever so slightly longer, isn't it, with the MCs you can see there on the right-hand side, and the top line is just that bit thicker. Yeah, I think I'd go, and I think, uh, I think they did say that Tiger goes straight from uh, an MB to a 770, was it? In the two iron. Oh, three iron, yeah, it is, three yeah. Iron. Well, I'm going to have a go with this off the tee. Um, and that, kids, is why you need to be a ball striker to hit the P7 MB. Didn't that leaf blower put you off to be fair, mate? Right, I haven't used a 3-iron for years, but I'm going to have a go here with the brand new P7 MC 3-iron, see if we can play a little bit of a stinger. 370 yards, I'm getting, if I can get this at 210, we've got 150 in, 160 in, terrible maths that, isn't it? 
Oh. Yeah, good shot. It's shots like that, Andy, where you think, you know what, should I? Yeah. Should I put them in, but... It's... What about the feel out of them? I like it. Yeah. I, I think you get the best of both worlds here with the P7MC because you get... Uh, the top line for me is thicker, which helps. It helps yeah. you visually address, but it feels just as soft. It's the same yeah, yeah. steel, isn't it? So... Yeah, that sounded a good strike, that. Same forging process. I'm going with a big dog. Yep. Not for the average golfer, it's not. That's a great drive. Position A, mate, that. Yeah, take that one. Well done. Right, guys, so yes. I've hit quite a good three and a half of the tee there, unfortunately. Say, it's still only gone 200 yards. I've got 170 in. Andy's up with the cart girl ordering some beer. What are you having, Andy? Modelo. Modelo, oh, wonderful. So I've got 190 yards left in. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to go with the P7MB4 iron. You're just going to get ale ordered at background. All right, mate. <laughs> Do you want He'll have a Modelo, won't he? You know what the really upsetting thing here is, Andy? Go on. You know what the really upsetting thing is here? What? I hit that really good off the tee. Yeah. And I've got 190 yards in, so I've still got to hit this. What is it, three or four? It's a four I've got. Yeah. MB. I'm just trying to... Because I love the look of that, and I would love to be able to hit it. Look at that. It's thin, isn't it? It's thin. It's, go it's gorgeous. But anyway, if we hit this green, we'll talk. The worrying thing for me here is all I'm seeing is that bunker short right into that wind. James, it's not short, right? Sit down. Sit down. Maybe we'll stick 770. Um, Sounded phenomenal. Go. Go. Oh, oh Andy. Just short. bouncing the back end, I think. What are your thoughts on these, then, Andy? Having uh, played a handful of holes with them, I know it's still early days and you're going to do your own review on your channel, but... My problem with the P-Series is, is that I love the feel out of the MBs. Mm. So I really... Because the feel is, you do lose a bit of feel in the 770s, the hollow body. They're, yeah. they're good feeling, but they're nothing like an MB. So, like, all, from an enjoyment perspective, I'd rather make a sacrifice of maybe not hitting yeah. as good as shots and play MBs. I would maybe, not, not a four yeah, iron, three but, iron, but... Yeah, but maybe in the lower, lower yeah. ends, which I think a lot of golfers may kind of resound with as well, the fact that you maybe want to have a bladed pitching wedge 998 iron. Uh, we've got some work to do here to not go into Andy's channel. One down. What you got us? Modelo. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Ooh, more Modelo as well. Oh, it's just come up a little bit. It's on the bunker. Andy, that needed one hop forward. Well, it bounced there, yeah, and it's come back in. And if you look at the slope down, slopes all the way. Yeah, so bit bit frustrating, but we just need to try and pop this one up and let it shot here as well for you, Andy. Release down. So we just need to get on that on the dance floor, as they say. Played it gorgeous. Oh, lovely shot! Oh, look at that go now. Right, guys, I am flag high with that four iron. Unfortunately, it is left. It wasn't a very good strike. And I'm left with a horrible. Pain. That's almost as good as I could play. Yeah, it's a great effort, to be fair. Well played. That, for me, is one of the big issues when using something like a blade like that that's just not got the forgiveness. I didn't have the confidence there from 190 yards with the P770. I may have a six iron in my hand instead of a four iron, which obviously a little bit more loft, a little bit more forgiveness. There's more chance of hitting this green as opposed to sending it over there. We now need uh, this to work for the millionth time this year to not lose to Andy. Turn. Ooh, oh, great effort. Pick it up. Oh, I had that, Chris. Can he make it? It's going to drop oh. low, I think. Funny how whenever we do videos on irons, drivers, or anything like, it always comes down to the, the flat short stick. stick. Yeah. And then we have part two over on your channel, I believe. Absolutely. I'm going to admit defeat, and I'm going to use P770s. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. No. Why not? I'll swap over. 